Hello everyone and welcome to another reaction video. Today we're going to see LeBron James talking about Kyrie Irving and making it back to the NBA Finals. How he feels about that. Definitely curious. LeBron and Kyrie, one of the classic duos of all time. Only won one championship, but their championship is goaded. So, you know, I know he missed him. I know he missed Kyrie. I know he, you know, AD cool and Dwayne Wade was really cool, but I know he always, I think he favored Kyrie over all his Maybe he favored Dwayne. I don't know. But I think he really, really missed Kyrie. So we'll see what he has to say about that. But for more content like this, make sure to like this video. Subscribe. It's Roll to 1000. Let's hop right into it. And hit me today and he's like, hey, um, I want you to ask LeBron what what his favorite thing about what is his favorite thing about X player? You know, he's like, I'm always like, what's my favorite thing about Luca? And he named some random thing that Luca did, which <laughs> is like it happens once a game. Like, whatever. No, I'm just kidding, Jason. <laughs> the one guy we haven't talked about, by, by the way, is Kyrie Irving. And to me, <laughs> missed that he's like the he ultimate said, Man. sort of X factor in all of this. Because when he has it going, uh, it, it takes Dallas to a whole nother level. Yep. And it, it also, it offsets Luka, and we've seen it in the playoffs, it offsets Luka not being at his best. It offsets a, a bad shooting performance. It offsets yep. a great defensive performance against him. Yep. If Kyrie has it going. Yep. So with Kyrie, what is your favorite thing about Kyrie, the basketball player? I, I, listen, I will call Kyrie the wizard all the time. Like, all the time. Like, there was nothing on the basketball floor that Kyrie couldn't do. Offensively. And sitting here watching it, you know, I'm like, I'm playing like, so fucking happy and so proud and to watch him and continue his growth and whatever the case may be. And at the same time, I'm so fucking mad at the same time that I am not his running mate anymore. <laughs> so I, I'm like, I just remember those times. And, and to what back a quote. to what you were saying, JJ, Man. like he, to have a guy like Kyrie Irving as the ultimate wild card, that, that's like having a... a, a <laughs> It's like having a draw four in your hand every time someone deals you cards in Uno. Like every single time. Because he has the ability to, like you said, I saw him in game one, Western Conference Finals, game one. You know, I think up until that point, I don't know the, the, the stat because I'm not writing down the stats and I don't call the games like you guys, but I think Kyrie was only averaging like eight points in the first half, like in the second round of the playoffs. You know, he was... He was getting a yeah. 16 to 20 in the, in the, in the, in the yeah. second half, but in the first That's half crazy. of games, you know, he it was like six. To, it was like six to eight. Yeah, I don't know like the exact number. Points, it was six to you eight. Know? Yeah. And, and you're like, okay, you know, you know you're going to have Kyrie in the fourth, but, but I need you sometimes in the first half too, brother. Uh, but like what he did in game one, it was like at the at Western Conference Finals, you was like, it, that was like, oh shit, Dallas may be able to, not only win the Western Conference Finals, they might be able to win the whole thing because of that wild card. I don't, I don't, I have so many words to praise Kyrie that I end up with absolutely none because it's just he's skilled. Man. It's so he a wizard, man. He like he said he's the most gifted player the NBA has ever seen. He has the best gifts I've ever seen of any NBA player. I've never seen a guy. Am I? I don't know what he's saying at that point. He's skilled. One of the most skilled. I think he has the best handles of all time. He's like gifted. Are you talking about handles or are you talking about talent? Because the talent, it could be you or Jordan. Because he got a ridiculously big hand for some reason. And his brothers are all much shorter than him. Like, how does he have this plot? Um, Kobe, I think, is the most skilled player of all time. Um, having the ability to have all these offensive skills, the fundamentals, and his defense. Uh, I mean, I think, especially he wasn't as athletic as Michael Jordan. So if Kobe had maybe Mike's athleticism, then you might, then this, this conversation would be something. But without Mike's athleticism, to be able to put out what he put out, still outstanding. Um, but Kyrie, I, I'd say he has the best handles of all time. Um, and that's, that's all I'd give him, to be honest with you. He has the best handles of all time. NBA life that feels better at times shooting with his offhand than he does with his with his primary hand. If Kyrie's off in a game with his right hand, he will literally go exclusively to his left hand. I've never seen nothing like that. 
The shot, one thing I'm thinking, the shot that he made versus Denver towards the regular yeah. end of the regular season on on Joker. Yeah. It's one of the most ridiculous shots I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. He's he's I, he, he's just that special. I, I said this in he the special, first though. round closeout game. I think it was the closeout game. He had he had PJ ISO right in front of the Dallas bench. Oh my goodness. And he go and he went to his dribble package. <laughs> man, he almost he, he hit him with the left to that? right. Oh and my goodness. Did the delay gather with his Relax, footwork man. to create yep. the separation. Shot it. Uh ball goes in. He doesn't see it go in. He kind of just reacts to his, you know, his teammates and and the crowd. I'm not sure PJ Tucker could have played better defense. And I made the comment on air, and I and I think I I think I mean this. I'm not sure there's ever been a player that's more aesthetically pleasing when he has it going. Like okay. it's his game is beautiful. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's Absolutely. it's it's a he always talks about he's he's you know, basketball players are artists, he's an artist out on the court. And I gotta be honest, like it's not invalid. I'm sometimes <laughs> like, yeah, this this guy. <laughs> This guy's an artist. Him and Steph. I'll call him a wizard. I'll call him an artist. No, it's absolutely. there. Absolutely. And by the way, we, we're both saying the exact same thing. And he's just, he's remarkable. Yeah. Hey, guys. Yeah, you can't glaze him too much. I would glaze him very, very highly. Yeah, him is a very aesthetically pleasing player. Um, like I said, he's the one of the great sidekicks. I love him as a sidekick because when you have a primary guy who handles all of the like main, like the playmaking and the leadership, all that type of stuff. But Kyrie, he's your second guy. So some days he has bad games, like in game one of this finals. But then you'll have games where he drops 30 and 40 and starts really get to cooking. And, I mean, when, uh, like the biggest example in 2016, that NBA finals, he was he was a master at the end of the finals, not the beginning, struggling in the beginning. But at the end, those last, you know, game five, not as much game six, game seven, yeah, definitely – was very fun. If you want to watch a really good finals game, watch that game five, Cavs Warriors, man. Obviously, it wasn't really close, but LeBron and Kyrie, them boys made it fun. And I was rooting for the Cavs. But hey, this was definitely fun to watch. LeBron obviously misses Kyrie, so that was interesting. Listen, but hey, for more content like this, make sure to like this video. This this podcast is really dope, so I love reacting to these, and you guys like me watch like watching me react to these. So. Hey, like the video. It's a road to 1,000 subscribers. So subscribe to the channel. And hey, I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. And I'm out of here. Peace.